Princess Diana's reputation as a man-eater stemmed from her affair with Oliver Hoare, according to one of her closest confidants, Simone Simons. Diana became obsessed with the Islamic art dealer in 1992, according to a 1994 article by People magazine. Writing in her biography on the princess, Diana, the last word, Ms. Simmons described Diana's lover as cultured, well-read and very good-looking. How Duchess saved royal family after Princess Diana's tragic death, how Cherry Blair was accused of trying to replace Princess Diana however, the close friend of the princess feared that once again, she had made an unwise choice. Writing in the 2005 book, Ms. Simmons claims Mr. Hoare was married and that fact was damaging to Diana's reputation. In Diana's bombshell panorama interview in 1995, the royal admitted calling Mr. Hoare over a period of six to nine months, however, certainly not in an obsessive manner. Ms. Simmons believed Diana was totally convinced that he was going to marry her. It is claimed Diana also believed they would run away and start a new life together in Italy. Ms. Simmons claims the princess kept insisting he's going to marry me. She kept visiting her astrologer and soothsayers and mediums and asking them if they were going to get married. Former bodyguard to Diana, Ken Wharf told the Daily Mail in 2016, how the princess's infatuation with Oliver Hoare was much more intense than her relationship with James Gilby, also at a former lover. Mr. Wharf claims he once spotted Mr. Hoare semi-naked behind a potted bay tree in a Kensington Palace corridor, smoking a cigar. Ms. Simmons explains that Diane Hoare, Oliver's wife, had discovered that he was having an affair with the princess. Heated arguments occurred in the Hoare family home which resulted in Mr. Hoare becoming distant which made Diana more agitated. The biography describes how Mr. Hoare couldn't handle Diana's emotional demands. It is then suggested that after marital issues with his wife at home, he couldn't take any more and stopped seeing them both. 